Hello everyone listening, my name is Sini Driji from Tunisia, I represent my creative group members, Emeni Haroubi from Tunisia, Abdallah Qais from Iraq, and the cutest Norhan Badreddin from Egypt, Omid Dunya. The main idea is to contribute to citizen engagement with environmental dynamics and changes, to spread knowledge, to conserve traditions and culture. The question that marked us the most is the access of knowledge to every individual as possible as we can. For being none of experts of digital design or programmers, we focus more on developing the idea of an app game, which we called the word as I see it. This app is an optimistic version of the word my group members and I dream about. We believe that if one day this game would actually be accessible, it could contribute to improving the future of so many nations by shaping their behavior, ensuring their engagement for a more civic and peaceful society. The inspiration comes from the code Act Locally, Effect Globally, also from the principle of joining globalization with preserving national identity. Let me tell you more about the questions we asked so that you understand our idea. We asked ourselves, how can we encourage a lazy generation to join social activism? How do we attract their attention on issues that we think are essentially important to a brighter future? What are those issues? If we succeed to answer such questions, then how do we make this app really efficient and accessible? How do we see our reality and how do we tend to change it? What did we learn from foresight and future thinking? How are we going to use that? The main thing we learn from the fellowship is to look deeper into the present, simulate its reality in the future, and modify things as if we actually could stop time now, implement new notions, motives, travel back in that future, see its effect, and do that again. While doing that over and over in our minds made us realize that as Arab nations, we have two main issues in common. Lazy majority about seeking information for readily learning to do that, and low awareness of importance of the environment. Another issue we love to consider was increasing the feeling of belonging. Because only when you truly believe you belong, you act from the deepest of you, not just for your personal benefit, but also for the whole community. Before getting to the point, let me explain this. While we combined the climate change effect with the civic engagement by looking on for the reason of those issues. Well, let's see, most of climate change issues are originally from human behavior. To make it more simple, through interaction in the streets, overbuilding factories and cities not caring about them, overuse of water, overuse of forests. So we think if we come to educate, not just in schools, if we come to educate humans, we could succeed and make them more eco-friendly, more cleverly dealing with their environment and its issues with the time. Let's get to the point. In our game, all you need is a phone and a good Wi-Fi. You'll create an account, you will learn about your city in a very fun way, but also you contribute to your city's future and innovation. Well, let's explain the learning part first. You will get to select a category you will you would like to play the most or you would like to learn about the most. It's rather it's the environment or culture. On your screen will appear to you a map almost identical to the spot you are standing in. The idea of the map is just to encourage you to discover more in your city if you like to play outside. But also the game is efficient if you like to play home. Let's say you select the cultural section. The app related to Google Maps will get you to the closest and oldest cultural building or event nearby. The events are ordered with the chronological order to give a sense of a full engagement with learning about your interests. Also, to give you access to the contribution part, which I will explain later. So, you get in that place. It could be a museum, a theater, or a cinema, etc. The game is about a bunch of quizzes. You finish them all, you receive a short article about the particular issue you were learning about. This is to encourage you more to read. There is a score planned for you to break in limited time. 
If you succeed at that, you earn a free attending pass to a close event in your city. In the meanwhile of that going on, you were earning points when you were playing. So at the end of each level, you will be asked to rather donate your score to a foundation or to transfer them into a free ticket or a, for a museum or a movie, things like that. Now, if we select the environmental section, you will be playing in the exact same way, except that you won't necessarily need a map, but the environmental questions will also be ordered with chronological order. The prices here are different. It's whether you donate your score or you transfer them to get a free biological object, eco-friendly object, but the big prize is to get a weak internship with a foundation that worked on solving the same problem you were reading about. Now, why the chronological order? For making sure you deeply learn about your interests and you never forgetting about your people's traditions once. Maybe you learn from their mistakes to correct them if possible. To simply learn about your history, let's say. Also, to make the fun part exciting. In our realistic imagination, the game does not only deal with non-governmental organization. It also deals with the government itself. You may ask how, but I was just about to answer that. Remember I told you about the map and the chronological order? Well, of course, I've been talking about this since the start for millions of times now. You probably hate hearing that. Well, in fact, once you play in the present, I mean the present time, you are into a competition with others in your level. You no longer play individually now, but in groups. The questions are, are, are harder, the scores are no longer easy to earn, and the big prize is even more interesting. Here exactly is where the government interferes. The winner group will represent his idea about future resolutions. For the theme in hand, a, co a national competition will be organized and the best group will get financial support to realize his project. Note that the app has also vocal support for people who can't see and write. In our world, where governments actually care about their innovative youth ideas, in a world which we are working on providing the next generation with, this all will be considered revolutionary. Specialists will work on making it attractive enough to get on trend. People will learn about their country, will be motivated to improve it, to save it, to live in it, because all they've got is their land. For it, they will be fully and civically engaged. For its sake, they will create a better environment while they enjoy doing that. I hope you're fascinated with our idea as much as we are. And thank you for watching.